The ultimate rigatoni with sweet Italian sausage and eggplant. All right, then we're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil to the bottom. All right, we're gonna brown up the sausage in this pan, and we're gonna caramelize the eggplant in that, okay? All right, so we're gonna take the sausages. Now, we're not gonna cook this all the way through because we're gonna bake it again. I just wanna brown the sausage, give it some really great flavor. If we cooked it all the way through, it would probably dry out. Now let's talk about this eggplant for a second. Now this is sort of a medium to large eggplant, really firm, no brown spots on the outside. It's got some nice weight to it. All right, and we're gonna take this thing and sort of chop it up into big pieces. All right, boom, olive oil. Then we're gonna add some salt, we're gonna season it up. Okay, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, and just gonna let it go. I've got it on a medium high temperature. All right, we're gonna turn, probably turn it once or twice. Turn it down just a little bit. All right, and just kinda let the whole thing start to cook. All right, so we got some whole tomatoes. We're going to add them to a bowl here. My hand crush them, okay? It looks really homemade, it's nice. Nice golden brown color. All right, so we got that. So our eggplant's starting to cook away, okay? While everything's cooking up, I'm gonna chop up an onion and some garlic. We're gonna give this some little texture. All right, cool, so I've got everything chopped up. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add all, right, all those delicious onions and garlic all right, to our same pan that we're cooking the pork in. All right, so I've got a paper towel on a plate and we're gonna let the pork sort of drain. So take the pork sausages off and just let them rest. Now there's some great brown bits on the bottom too that when we add the onions and the garlic to that, because they're so full of water, it's gonna naturally deglaze the bottom of the pan and pull up a lot of that great flavor. All right, cool. All right, then we're gonna take a spoon, just kinda stir the whole thing around, make sure the onions are really starting to kinda cook and suck up some of that flavor. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a tad, okay? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so we're getting some really good color from the eggplant, all right? I'm gonna pull these up. Right, they look great. And again, you don't wanna overcook them. You still want some little bit of texture. But you wanna cook them so they're nice and creamy all the way through. Okay, and then we're gonna take our eggplant. All right, we're gonna put it on the same plate with the sausage, just like that. All right, boom. So I've got a pound of pasta here, and I've got a gallon of water. All right, then we're gonna add a nice big handful of some kosher salt straight into the water. All right, then we're gonna take our pasta and just dump it in like that. All right, cool. I'm gonna take a spoon, give it a little stir. It's gonna take probably 12 minutes for the whole thing to come together. All right, it's gonna be done perfectly al dente, okay? Our onions look fantastic already. It smells great. All right, cool, and we're gonna season this very simply with a bay leaf now, all right, and then some fresh basil at the end. All right, so we got some tomatoes here. All right, dump the whole thing in like that. Let that start to simmer away. All right. Now the rigatoni is cooked, right? But first thing, before I wanna drain it, I'm gonna reserve some of the starchy water, right? And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that in a second. All right, we're gonna hold that there. And we're just going to leave it in the sink for a little while. All right, cool. All right, and while that's working, we're going to put everything else together. Now we're going to take our beautiful sausage, our fresh pork sausage in the natural casings. All right, we're going to chop it up into bite-sized pieces. All right, and then reverse the angle and have these great little kind of chunky triangular pieces. All right, so we got that. The tomato sauce looks really good. And we're just going to dump it into our bowl here. All right, then we're going to take our tomato sauce, our beautiful, rich, San Marzano tomato sauce. So I like to take the pasta, add most of it in, give it a good stir and see if it even needs that last little bit. Smells great. I think we're definitely gonna have enough sauce. Make sure we get all that pasta in there. Finish it up. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the water all right, back to the pasta itself so it stays nice and moist all the way through. All right, so we got that. now. A really great pasta dish wouldn't be complete unless we had lots of cheese folded into it. So I've got some Parmesan cheese and some really creamy, uh, fresh homemade mozzarella. A quarter cup, half a cup, 
You want a nice, sharp flavor in there. And we add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to this as well. A little shake. And the mozzarella is kind of chopped up a couple of pieces. That's going to go right on top, just like that. Give it a stir. And then I think some fresh basil will be really delicious. All right. Go take a nice little handful of fresh basil and just hand tear it. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. Just nice and kind of rustic all the way through. One more little stir. We're going to pour this whole thing all right, just like this. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of extra Parmesan cheese right on top of the whole thing, just like this. And I've got the oven preheated, 450 degrees. All right, because what we're going to do is we're going to bake this for about 20, 25 minutes. Get a nice crust on top of the whole thing. All right, say goodbye for now. Yeah, it smells delicious already. All right, now our rigatoni looks great too, right? So we've got a little bit of texture, because right, it's been in the oven for a little while. It's a little bubbly, it's a little crunchy on top. And then we're going to take the other half of our mozzarella, and I'm just going to sort of rip it and shred it and throw it right on top. So when you dig into it, you get a little bit of crunch and get a little bit of stretch from the cheese. Okay, it's going to go back into the oven, and we're going to leave it in there until it's bubbly and golden brown. All right, cool. It's absolutely beautiful. This is the ultimate baked pasta dish. Rigatoni, fresh fennel sausage, lots of melted eggplant, lots of gooey fresh mozzarella cheese, which I am loving. I'm telling you, when the Sopranos come back on, you've got a really good casserole. When people come over, look at all the mozzarella cheese. The best. Serve a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese on the side. Nice little sprinkle. Like that, boom. A little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And some fresh basil, and you've got a sensational showstopper of an entree.